Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on Mendelian Genetics and this is the part 8 of this series of videos on Mendelian Genetics. So the first question is which one of the following is the largest chromosome and the options are <coughs> supernumerary chromosome or option B polytene chromosome, option C X chromosome or option D lamp brush chromosome. So the right answer is option D that is lamp brush chromosome is the largest chromosome. So let's move on to question number 142. That is consider the following disease or syndrome that is uh, options are one Huntington's, Huntington's disease and next is option two that is galacto, uh, galactosemia option C Dukni's muscular dystrophy or option four phenylketonuria so among these those attributes to recessive mutation in human beings include so which are the recessive mutation in humans are option a 1 2 or 4 option b 2 3 and 4 or option c 2 and 4 or option d 1 and 4 so the right answer is option b that is 2 3 and 4 is the recessive mutation involved in recessive mutation so 2 3 and 4 that is galactosemia, Dukni's muscular dystrophy and phenylketonuria. Okay, so let's move on to question number 143. It is considered the following statements. Constitutive heterochromatin is option 1 is rich in repetitive DNA sequence remains cons condensed on both homologous during interface remains condensed on only one homologs during interface or option four that is is present only on sex chromosomes so of these four statements which one is the correct option so option a is the one and three are correct option b that is three and four are correct option c one and four is correct or option d one and two are correct so the right answer is option d that is one and two statement is the correct one so one that is this constitutive heterochromatin is rich in repetitive dna sequence and the two that is remain condensed on the on both homologs during interface okay so let's move on to the next question that is 144 so consider the following statement the genetic code is said to be generated and universal Sorry, degenerated and universal, which means that option A, amino acid may have more than one codon. Option 2, that is all amino acid have more than one codon. Option 3, codons are common for higher and lower organisms. So among these three statements, which option is the correct? So option 1 is, option A is 2 and 3 statement is correct. Option B, 1 and 3 are correct. Option C, alone is correct or option d one alone is the correct so the right answer is option b that is one and three are correct it is one and three is the correct one about the genetic code okay so let's move on to question number 145 it is which one of the following is the correct sequence of genes within an operon so option A is regulator, promoter, operator and structural. Option B regulator, operator, promoter and structural. Or option C structural, operator, regulator and promoter. Or option D promoter, operator, structural and regulator. So the right one is option A. That is regulator, promoter, operator and structural. So which one of the following is the correct sequence of genes? within an operon is regulator, promoter, operator and structural. So the next one is 146 that is consider the following statement regarding linkage of genes. Option 1 that is two genes are said to be linked when they undergo independent assortment. Option 2 that is the strength of the linkage is determined by the distance between the two genes in question. Option C, the strength of the linkage is directly proportional to the distance between the two genes. So, among these statements, which one is the correct one? So, option A is 1, 2 and 3 are correct. 
B is 1 and 2 are correct. C is 2 and 3 are correct. Option D is 1 and 3 are correct. So the right answer is option B. That is 1 and 2 is the correct statement. So option 1 and 2 is the correct statement about the linkage of genes. Okay. So let's move on to question number 147. It is in an example of monozygotic twins, one of the twin is phenotypically a male and other is phenotypically a female. So a chromosome analysis revealed that non-disjunction of sex chromosome at meiosis was responsible for this situation and further that that non disjunction took place once only so the most likely sex chromosome composition of the two res uh, respective individual is respectively option a x and xy and xxy option b xy and xo option c xyy and xx or option d xxy and xx so the right answer is option b that is XY and XO is the right combination of chromosome, sex chromosome. Okay, so let's move on to question number 148. So a man and a woman each carries a mutant allele for phenylketonuria, an inborn error of metabolism. So however, neither of them has this disease. So the probability that their second child will suffer from phenylketonuria is option is 0.25, option B is 0.50, option C is 0.75 or option D 1. So the probability which uh, the probability that their second child will suffer from phenylketonuria is option A that is 0.25. Okay. So let's move on to question number 149 that is the concept of the split gene is that the option A DNA in a gene can be split by deoxyribonuclease option B coding sequence in many eukaryotic genes are often separated by non-coding sequences option C secondary cons uh, contractions on the chromosome give the split appearance to genes or option D adjacent genes are separated from each other by spacers. So the right answer is option B that is coding sequence in many eukaryotic genes are often separated by non-coding sequences. So this is the split gene concept. Okay. So let's move on to question number 150 that is A is an autosomal gene and is responsible for albino character a male rat heterozygous for a is crossed with a female rat of same genotype so how many of the percentage of offspring will express a, a phenotype that is albino so the options are option a 100% option b 50% option c 25% option d none so the right answer is option d that is none okay so the next question is 151 it is each chromatid of a chromosome contains option a, a single linear DNA molecule option B two linear DNA molecule option C four linear DNA molecule or option D variable number of linear DNA molecules and the right answer is option D that is variable number of linear DNA molecules so each chromatid of a chromosome contains variable number of linear DNA molecules. So let's move on to question number 152 that is sex linked genes refers to genes that are option A present in a particular sex, option B controlling secondary sexual characters, option C controlling both primary and secondary sexual characters or option D present on the sex chromosome. So the right answer is option B that is controlling secondary sexual characters. So sex linked genes refer to genes controlling secondary sexual characters okay so let's move on to question number 153 that is besides primary constriction there is a secondary constriction in some chromosome which is known as option a centromere option b telomere option c nuclear organizer region or option d chromonema 
Okay, so the right answer is option C that is nuclear organizer region. So beside primary constriction, there is a secondary constriction is in some chromosome which is known as nuclear organizer region. Okay, so let's move on to question number 154. That is the crossover percentage between linkage linked gene of J and M is 20%, J and L is 35%. J and N is 70% and L and K is 15% and M and N is uh, there it is uh, 10% and M uh, and L is 15% thus the sequence of genes on the chromosome is option A L N M L K or option B J M L N K option c j m l k n or option d m j l k n so depending on the percentage you have to choose their sequence so the right answer is option b that is j m l n k okay so this is the right answer so let's move on to question number 155 that is a recessive inherited disease is expressed only in individuals of blood group O and not expressed in blood group A, B or AB. So alleles controlling the disease and blood groups are independently inherited. So a normal woman with blood group A and her normal husband with blood group B already had one child with the disease. So the woman is pregnant for second time what is the probability that the second child will also have the disease and the options are option a half option b 1 by 4 option c 1 by 16 option d 1 by 64 so the right answer is option c that is 1 by 16 is the right probability that the second child also have the disease so let's move on to question number 156 so which of the following is true for cells harboring f prime plasmid and the options are option a the f plasmid is non-functional they exhibit increased rate of transfer of all chromosomal genes option c they are merodiploid option d they fail to survive as the chromosomal origin of replication is inactivated so the right answer is option c that is they are merodiploid okay so the next question is 157 that is c value paradox refers in the presence of option a more dna than needed for coding option b less number of trna than needed for poly polypeptide formation option c that is larger number of ribosomes than needed for polypeptide synthesis or option d less number of rna polymerases than needed for RNA so the right answer is option A that is more DNA than needed for coding so the next one is option 158 what is the most important morphological peculiarity of polytene chromosomes of salivary gland cells of drosophila and the options are option A size option b length option c g and pq dot rs band interband slash interband or option d easily observable features so the right answer is option c that is g and pq dot rs band slash interbands okay so let's move on to question number 159 that is which of the following mutagens is likely to result in a single amino acid change in gene product and the options are option a acridine orange option b x-rays option c ethyl methane sulfonate or option d ethidium bromide and the right one is option c that is ems or ethyl methylene sulfonate okay so the last question of this video that is 160 that is which of the following is not true about the human y chromosome in a male and the options are option a it is a single linear dna molecule option b its genes are known as holandric genes or option c it is a 
packaged into nucleosomes or option D during mitosis prior to metaphase it contain only one chromatid so the right answer is option D that is during mitosis prior to metaphase it contains only one chromatid and this is not the true about the human Y chromosome in a male okay so these are all 20 questions of this part 8 videos video on MCQs on Mendelian genetics okay so thank you for watching this video